Hey, it's F.J. Shark here with part two of What Women Are Thinking. As you know from part one, we're taking the word nice and the word jerk and using them as acronyms that will stand for some critical points uh, that will make or break your success with women. So here's part two of what I believe women are thinking when they're around nice guys versus how they justify going out with jerks. Once again, I'll be saying this as if I'm the voice inside the woman's head. If you remember from uh, the letter N in nice, uh, she just got approached by a nice guy, and now he's going to try and start a conversation with her again. So here's the letter I in nice, which stands for insecure and approval-seeking. Well, he's walking up to me again. There's a fine line between being persistent and making a fool out of yourself, and this guy just doesn't seem to catch on. You know, Maybe he's just used to being rejected. He, he really doesn't know when to move on. It's not like I'm the only woman in here. Uh-oh, brace yourself. Here comes another creative opener. I can't even hear him. I wish he would speak up. I think he just asked me some question about dental floss or something. I'll just keep nodding my head so he thinks I'm listening to him. Let's see. Uh, he's been here about 10 minutes, and all he's been thinking about is if someone should floss before or after they brush. I mean, give me a break. Maybe that one would have worked on me you know, to break the ice when I first saw him looking at me. But I feel like I'm just another girl he said that to tonight. Unfortunately, I'm probably the only one he's tried it out on. I haven't seen him talk to anyone else. All I know is that he was standing alone in the same spot for God knows how long before I even came in. Well, I guess I can talk for a few minutes before my girlfriends get here for the surprise party for my sister. I guess I'll keep nodding my head because I still can't hear him that well. If he had any balls, he'd ask me to go somewhere a little quieter so I could actually hear what he's got to say. Well, it must not be that important because he doesn't even care that I'm not really listening to him. When he, when he does ask me a question, he doesn't even wait for my answer. He just keeps going. That's rude. It's like he's dying on stage here and just keeps going. You know, no one to shut up, buddy. I mean, the ice cubes in my drink are more interesting than, than him. This, it's like he's trying too hard to win me over. I can't wait until he tells me how much you know I look like his sister. Oh, what's this? He wants to read my palm now? I'll just tell him I've got a nasty wart on it and see what creative comeback he has for that one. Wait, he's not saying anything. I think he believes me about the wart. Ah, oh, yuck. At least make a comment about it or ask to see it. Call me on it, for God's sake. I guess I can tell this guy anything and he'll believe me. I'll tell him to read the palm of the girl next to me. Again, he took me seriously. He isn't very playful. He just keeps talking about himself. Now he's telling me some story about when he was in kindergarten. I hope it's better than the one he told me about his mother's cooking or how he threw up last night. Yeah, that'll make me want to kiss him. I can't wait to hear about how his last girlfriend was a model or he just got back from traveling from some exotic country. Geez, at least tell me something interesting so I can get involved with the conversation here. Even if he's full of crap, this guy's not even interesting enough to listen to. Why isn't he asking me any other questions? Isn't he wondering why I'm sitting here with a gift bag and a birthday present in it? He didn't even notice that I'm wearing two different shoes. It's a little joke that we're all going to tease my sister on tonight because she woke up late and got dressed so fast she didn't even realize she had two different shoes on until she was already at work. You know, we're going to play that joke on her. He obviously didn't even notice that my name and my name on my necklace around my neck are not the same. It's my goddaughter's name, and in case you ever bothered to notice, She's very special to me, and I'm not going to tell you anything about her because you're not even going to ask. He probably already forgot my name already anyway. He's too worried about what he's going to say next. Loosen up and, you know, go with the flow, buddy. Something about him just makes me uncomfortable. I hope my sister and girlfriends get here soon. I can't take much more of this. Hmm. For the letter C in nice, be sure to check out the next video on what women are thinking to see what's going through a woman's mind when she's around nice guys versus justifying being with a jerk.